On top of a skyscraper high above the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur, workers putting up scaffolding without safety harnesses. The video appeared online in May. It's drawn new attention to the plight of migrant workers in Malaysia. Coming from countries like Indonesia and Bangladesh, they often work in dangerous conditions. Our observer Sumita Kishna is from the migrant worker group. It was not surprising to see that video because we have seen this many times in Malaysia. In terms of the really manual, hard labor, it's always the migrant workers. There are workers who are working undocumented, but even when they're working legally, there are two types of workers. One is where the original construction company brings in the worker, and by and large, we see that uh, safety procedures are followed. And in these kind of situations where the project is over, then the worker, while waiting for, the, for another project to come along in the original company, they will go and work in another company. So in the second company they work in, by and large, we see that they do not have any safety features given to the worker because there is no liability on the employer. The common complaints that we get about safety is how to use the safety gadget themselves. Themselves. They tell us that they don't actually get enough training on how to use it and so some of them find it cumbersome to use it and so they disregard it totally. There's not enough monitoring of the construction work sites and there's not enough labour in inspectors to monitor the situation as well. We hope that the new government will take migrant workers' safety more seriously. No migrants should be coming to Malaysia and going back in a coffin. In Malaysia, the rate of work accident fatalities is 4.8 deaths per 100,000 workers. That's four times higher than in neighbouring Singapore.